Hi, I am Dr. Martha Carone, and I am going to be your instructor for ABS 312 Structure and Function in Plants and Animals this semester. Um, you may ask, what is that? That's exactly the same question that I had when they told me I was going to be teaching this class. I went, okay, what is that? <laughs> and so after a lot of thinking and discussion with other people in the department and um, kind of bouncing ideas around, I think that the, the direction that we have created for this class is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really interesting and I think it will be very thought provoking as well. So hopefully you will enjoy what we have kind of come up with for this class and by the end of the class you will no longer be questioning what is structure and function in plants and animals. So a little bit about me. I am, um, I've been here at Polytechnic, uh, I don't want to say that part, we'll cut that out later. Um, I have a PhD in applied animal behavior and that is kind of where my heart lies looking at um, captive breeding and endangered species and trying to increase captive breeding and endangered species, uh, looking at mating systems and ha how behavior affects um, the ability to successfully captive breed endangered species. And um, my dissertation looked at successful breeding in squirrel monkeys and the effects of their environment on that success in squirrel monkeys. So as you can see, I am definitely an animal person all the way around. I love animals, I love everything they do and everything they're about, and this class is also about plants. So I have very much been consulting my plant experts, and I, you may actually be seeing some of them come in and give guest lectures as we get further into the class later in the semester, um, bringing in their areas of expertise in relation to plants. Um, so I promise for you plant people out there, we will be having a lot of fun with plants as well and bringing in a lot of that as well. So the course as a whole is going to look at three different concentrations, um, looking at sexual selection um, in both animals and plants. So our first couple of weeks are going to look at male-male competition in animals, at female choice in animals, and at female competition in animals. And then I will bring in sexual selection in plants in that first concentration. Our first two weeks are actually going to look at um, natural selection and sexual selection just kind of as a background basis for everything we're going to be doing for the semester. Our second concentration will look at adaptations to the Sonoran Desert in both animals and plants. So I think that will be really interesting in that we live here in Arizona and have to adapt to the desert environment. And then our third concentration is going to look at um, symbiosis and predator-prey relationships, kind of co-evolution, how animals and plants interact with each other and how they actually become dependent on each other. Fungi, bacteria, plants, animals, all these different organisms that actually become dependent on each other and unable to be separated from each other. So that'll kind of bring everything together at the end and we'll look at why these structures exist, what the functions of these structures are, and why it makes sense for them to continue to persist in the environment. So make sure that you start out by looking at our course tour. Um, you want to look at tips for success in online classes, and you want to make sure to do your syllabus quiz and get 100% on that before you can start doing anything. Once you've done that, I want you to jump right into week one, and I will be with you the whole way through, and hopefully we'll have a lot of fun. Thanks. That was good. It's a little bit eh, in the middle, but...